Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. Okay, so we are at the moment busy with our road and drop off and pick up area upgrades. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the road through to the end over here. Um, what I'll also need to do is kind of just demolish what we've got in terms of roads happening right there. So we'll be sure to clean that out. We'll then uh, <clears throat> continue the road construction through here. I don't know what that guy's problem is. What is he saying? Stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, good to know. Um, what we'll also do is we will cut back this zone a little bit. Like such. And then we will add the lay-by area no man cancel that there we go and that's it and that should finish off our our lay-bys and we should have plenty of capacity and what I'm gonna do is I probably need to wow look at that how many people just like clumped up in this one area okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim back this area a little bit just to make sure they uh, unload to the front here I don't want them to be doing that it's exactly that that's the problem Everything else is working. What's happening over here? We need a garbage truck to make its move. Okay, so that should finish off the uh, drop off con drop off area of construction. What I want to do now is add a small extra bathroom over here. So let's start by building a wall. We just need like one, two, three, four, like such. So let's do uh, something like this should be fine like such we go to objects we need to probably add a little door in here somewhere like such should do the trick and then other objects that I want to do is uh, obviously the, the necessary requirements for a bathroom yep like, uh, like so so we'll fill up that area and okay and the other essentials yep yep that's pretty good i think our uh, construction workers are still pretty busy um with the <clears throat> with the drop-offs and such so uh, let's zone this as a bar as a restroom that should be fine so let's get hopefully they'll come in and build that yeah here they come and then what we'll do is we'll close this door over here so this is like the i'm on my way out bathroom and that one is on my way in to kind of draw draw passengers in but i am wondering um it's probably not going to work um given that these exit arrangements into the channel is not a not a big deal so what, uh, it's not a doesn't actually work to restrict certain areas so what's going to happen is these guys are going to come in um, they're going to run through to this bathroom and run in there to there and then they're going to go out and go to the cafe and queue over here for their next flight so it's not 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 cleanly going to uh, resolve our our area issues or people routing into areas they shouldn't be routing to or not realistic that they route to Starts in 18 minutes. Starts, starts. One minute left. So obviously we've got a lot of people that are late. Starts in 71 minutes. So not a big deal yet. Not much coming through here now. I think we've got the last of them through. But it is a little bit frustrating and unrealistic that we have to have this much to kind of funnel 
like eight eight stands worth of people through here. Oh, the next thing that would be really great if they can add it is just the uh, the whole. What's going on over there? Is just the whole um, uh, d kind of double level. I'm sure. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be double level, but what they could do is they could. Uh, uh, maybe if we if we have a look at a gate, right? What they could do is they could channel. Uh, I don't know how you would do that. You you could. So from an exit channel point of view, maybe if you can just dedicate zones, it will work. So what you can do is right. You can run an exit channel all the way around in front of them, and then just have openings through to from the queue in internal. Okay, so this, these people would all, but then you would need to be able to restrict guys from going into certain areas with some some form of gate. So that's still ongoing. What's happening over here? Why are we why are we waiting? What's the concern? We still requires functioning restroom zone, toilet sink enclosed space. So that's an enclosed space. So I'm guessing we're awaiting toilets. Are we? Are you guys uh, screwing around? Well, what's what's happening? Are we waiting a delivery? Are we just kind of being a little bit forgetful? What's going on? Okay, well let's uh, dismantle. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, try rezoning it. So let's uh, remove this completely. So what's happening over here? Requires a functioning restroom area, and this one is not doing anything anymore. Must say, but there are there seems to be toilets in there. So let's just uh, rezone this as a restroom. And I'm wondering if it takes a little bit to kind of get this done. Yeah, there it goes. So now it's functioning. Good. So now people will start using this also. I'm hoping we don't get funny bathing bathing stuff happening. Well, this kind of just spawns a little zone there that everybody spawns from. Okay, so with that in place, what we can do um, is we can dismantle, well, we can dismantle the door and we can pop in a wall over here as soon as that has been dismantled. There we go. We'll close that off quickly. At the moment, it's not working. Uh, come and build that for me. And then we keep an eye on where these guys are going. Oh, yes, I know. I know you don't like it. You don't like it. I know. Where are my workers? Come and build this wall. Sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, some walls being delivered. Make it on for it. That bathroom getting any attention? Not really. Uh, what I want to add maybe is uh, a few bins. A few bins. Where are they? Garbage bins. Cafe chair B. Cafe table B. So we can have different looking cafe areas okay still looking at oh, there you go garbage bins so let me uh, pop that guy over there it should give me some some more area to work with uh, this has been closed off has it Ooh. no I'm stuck I want to go in here to the bathroom <laughs> ridiculous okay let's uh, refloor this area just so it looks a little bit better it's like floor 12 because we can 
So refloor that area. Look at this plane overhanging the entire terminal building. So refloor that area. No, that area over there. These now bathrooms would look the same. Uh huh. What do we have working over here? Is this carpet three? So let's just put carpet three in that area as well. That should be fine. And then that the airport would s s starting to take shape. What 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 are you waiting for? Oh yes, we're delivering a lot of stuff. Wow, this chicken area again is pretty big mess. Seems like we've got uh, yet another bugged out baggage car. We've got some more taxiway tango going on over here. I'm hoping they'll solve that. That's probably my biggest frustration with the game at the moment is this uh, pathing on the taxiway thing yeah, that's going on. That's everybody. That guy should be leaving and probably bugged out another baggage car by doing that. Starts in a while. It's waiting for five more people. Plenty of people waiting over here, using the cafe. Still not sure what that's bringing us. Retail food income. Yeah, 275. Vending machines are doing... You see, this is this is kind of the balance, balancing problem. The fact that we've got a big cafe and it's not making... Well, it's just make, hardly making more money than the vending machine is a problem. Mm-hmm. Still have this one over here. What's what's happening here? Who's it waiting for? Yeah, probably trying to come back, but these guys are stuck. Not knowing what to do. It starts. Oh man, really? Yeah, there we go. So now Yeah, hopefully that's working us a little bit better. Yeah, fixing that area nicely. I think we st I don't think we have any research we can do. Yeah, no, we've we've done everything we can. Let's see if we've got some new airlines. Okay, let's have a quick look at our schedule again. Um, so we've kind of noticed that we can probably accommodate everybody something every f four hours so we can probably take another a.m. flight okay so that gives us yeah probably one more a.m. flight somewhere over here we can probably move this one up a little bit like so that should be fine Yeah, you can probably squeeze in two more morning flights. One over here and one over there. So let's see about two more morning flights. Zero morning flights. Oh, there's one. So let's pick up the Union Air morning flight. It's just like a dash, so like 50 passengers max but we'll pick it up anyway regardless so that's an aerostar yeah and where is it is it this one? Oh no no yeah no it's not an aerostar it's the union air uh, yeah so that's potentially a spot for it but I'd rather pop it in there. Actually, I'd rather pop it in there. Okay. Okay, so in terms of afternoon flights, what is our range? So it's noon till 7 p.m. So we can certainly pop in one more over here. Um, I like two more over here.
Interesting. So the afternoon can still take plenty of extra flights. So let's see if there's anything in the afternoon that we can do. We could probably take up, yeah, there's like two afternoon flights. So Super Alliance A380 in the afternoon, which we will accept. And that's a Super Alliance flight, yeah. And the other one is a Star Flight 767, and we'll accept that one too. So let's see where they pop them in. So Star Flight, please pop in here somewhere. Uh, and then the Super Alliance flight can go in there. And this one can probably move a little bit like so. And that one can do like that. And that should be pretty decent. Then we should be able to... Yeah, we can't pop in another one over here. Maybe if we move them out a little bit, we can make room for some more. Yeah, maybe. Otherwise, we can bring these two forward a bit, you know. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, but these might be evening flights too. There's a bit of an overlap between the between the evening and the uh, and the afternoon flights. What's going on? Ooh. Hang on. Uh, anyway, let me look at this.